All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, I'm give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rachachrash, the honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all like Akim, walk, walking, learning, and teaching truth and sincerity. And this is going to be just another quick video. Uh, I was talking to a Jake the other day, right? And he couldn't have been no more than, I forgot his age, but he's in his early 20s, you know, not too far older than me. You know, probably like, uh, I want to say maybe 22, 23 or something. And he was uh, going on about how he has to go to classes and get counseling for his depression. All right. And here it is. You know, this this is uh, this is the great grand country of America where everything is beautiful and perfect. And there's fun and at every turn of the corner and happiness flowing out of the rivers of <laughs> Out of the rivers of excitement and joy. All right, that's what's uh, advertised and portrayed about America, but it's not actually as it's been shown. All right, this is not a happy place. This is not a good place. This is not a successful place. All right, everyone here is depressed. All right, when you talk to the average American, there's not really, you know, except for women, you know, a lot of these American women are stupid, but you talk to the average American, they're going to start griping about something that's going horribly wrong in their life and how they can't do anything about it. All right, so I got this word, and then I'm going to go back to the word depression, but this is des uh, despondent. It says, in low spirits from loss of hope or courage. And that's what you see here in America. There's no hope here. There's no courage. All right, actually, now let me get this. Because everywhere you go, you see people running into money problems, all right? You see men getting uh, messed over, <laughs> getting messed over by women, all right? The jobs aren't paying as much as they used to, and everyone's getting sick and tired of it. That's why you have people, that's why you have record numbers of suicide here in America. That's why you have uh, uh, record numbers of uh, low birth rates. You look at Esau, the so-called white man's uh, community. Everyone is, the American dream is fading away. You have people that are, here it is, when you're in your early 20s and whatnot, these are supposed to be some of the happiest, most joyous times of your life. And you have people that are so, that have no hope and no courage. They're so stricken in the heart to where they, they struggle to get out of bed. All right, this place is done. The end is come. All right, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick. But when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. It says, hope deferred maketh the heart sick. And these people don't have any hope. Let's get that word deferred real quick. It would have to be similar. Uh, what was it? 13 and 13 and 12. Con. All right. And these people don't have any hope whatsoever. Deferred. Looks like uh, uh, Mashak says to draw to drag seas to draw and lift out drag along lead along so hope dragged away hope drawn out hope seized away let's see to track gratified be drawn out to trail seed and sowing all right to be drawn out be postponed be deferred so hope that is postponed hope that is not being uh evidently put forth is destroying the hearts of these people and is leading them to this right here depression it says feelings of severe despondency and dejection so now we're going to look at the word dejection but it says severe despondency all right so actually let me do this real quick so we got this the word for dejection as well a sad and depressed state low spirits so now let's see if we can get some imagery here we go America, America, God shed it. It's great. Look at him, man. And these are images, but when you go out in public, you will actually see people like this. All right. When you go, I go to the uh, when you go to the uh, the gym. All right, people aren't in there. You got people in there arguing with each other. I remember I seen this one uh, couple arguing bitterly. All right, you go to get something to eat. People looking around, angry. These people sitting down at the dinner table, arguing. 
Motherfuckers double taking on their wallet because they don't know if they can afford what their whole family finna buy up to eat. All right. Everywhere you go, you literally see this pose everywhere. People with their hands on their face. All right. With their head and their knees. America is falling down. The end of this world is come. This is not the sweet city, the joyous city that it used to be. All right. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's see what we can get for. God damn it. Uh, let's see. Uh, there was a certain scripture. And... Let me see. So I, okay, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, kind of Jeremiah, and this is chapter uh, 30. All right, when all the calamities do finally manifest. Jeremiah 30 and 6, it says, Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Now, let's look at that word, paleness. All right, Jeremiah 30 and 6. All right, because very soon we're about to enter that state in which you do have men out here travailing as women. But you do see right now people's faces are being turned into paleness. All right, mildew paleness, lividness, mildew rust paleness. Looks like uh, Yara. Qua. What is that? Quan. Yara. Yara. Quan. It looks like. It says. Uh, Paleness, whether of persons from fright or of plants from drought. There we go. So basically, of fright. No one's in that that happy, look, let's go America spirit, mainly except for a few women. You know, a woman that's running up some man's bank account, driving a 2017 model uh, vehicle. All right. But for the most part, the faces are turned into paleness. Also, Ecclesiastes. get this because this is it was, it's all just stemmed from that conversation that i had with uh this jake man we were uh you know it's, it's crazy you no know, this the state of this world is is crumbling right under everyone's eyes but they can't no one still wants to wake up to the truth everyone still wants to try to pretend that everything's okay and it's not it's not going to get better trump isn't going to make america better again 